Hey everyone, and you know if you've been tuning in to any of the real estate market stats that we've been doing now for years, to keep you informed, of course, on what's going on in the market, but you'll know that Halifax is a huge seller's market right now. And we're gonna give you some a little bit of insight as to why that's actually happening. Hey everyone, it's Richard Payne from Halifax Homes and Lifestyles at Keller Williams Slick Realty. And today the vlog is gonna be a little bit more in tune of like what's going on in Halifax. Like how have we seen such a seller's market? And the other interesting side that goes along with that is the fact that we have a really incredibly low vacancy rate on the rental units here in the Halifax market. And kind of the, the two go together. It's like, how can you have a brilliant real estate seller's market as well as a low vacancy rate? And it's gonna come down to the population increase that Nova Scotia, and really in particular the, the Halifax Regional Municipality, HRM, has actually seen over 2019. And it comes down to this. We had an 11,000 population growth inside of Nova Scotia. The majority of that was definitely inside Halifax Regional Municipality, HRM, which is kind of like if you did a little horseshoe that went from, say, uh, St. Margaret's Bay on the left-hand side all the way up to the airport and then loop around and come back down to Eastern Passage, Porter's Lake, kind of that horseshoe, that's basically HRM. And to have that many people moving into uh, an area like that, it's going to do two things. Number one, demand for housing has gone up. Therefore, if the supply is not huge, the demand goes up, then the amount of inventory that we've been talking about is going to shrink. So hence, we're down to like two months of inventory right now. But also at the same time, what's happened is that we have 11,000 people coming in, but we only have 3,000 brand new houses being built in that same area, in that same time frame. So that means that the rest of the people are going to be like, well, Number one, we're gonna try and find houses that are uh, resale houses. So houses already built that people are gonna move into. That eats into the inventory, that reduces that down. But by the same token, it's had the uh, brilliant effect of having a less than 1% vacancy rate. So when real estate investors, and the majority of those investors, by the way, are not um, Kilam uh, Properties, which is a huge company, they're not anybody that's got like, you know, huge holdings, 50% of all the income properties in Nova Scotia are actually owned by individuals who have just been smart, looked at their future and said, you know what, let's buy an income property and let's put our money in that as opposed to just being all our eggs in one basket, uh, our RSPs, and let's basically see if the stock market can do it. So they're only owning like one, maybe two, maybe three, four or five properties, but certainly they're not huge holdings like Killam Properties uh, and they're, you know, like 120 unit buildings. But these are the people that have been smart enough to look at what's going on and say, let's buy an income property. It's time to put our money into real estate. Let's be a landlord, but you've got to buy the right kind of property in the right area to get the right tenants. And it always starts with that, actually. There's another little tip for you, is start with your tenant in mind and then work out the area, work out the properties, work out the type of rent they can afford, and that'll determine the area that you go and the type of property you're gonna buy. Don't start just saying, I want a duplex in somewhere in HRM, like you'll spend forever trying to find it, find the right one. So that's a little tip for you there, but because of that 3,000 um, houses being built and 11,000 people moving here, that's created the demand for the rentals. And a lot of people are saying right now as well that we have, because of the low vacancy rate, we have a real shortage of rental units. So again, maybe the time is right uh, for you to actually start looking at income properties. And we own four buildings ourselves, uh, me and my wife, so it'd be great to sit down and have a conversation with you about that, as well as put you in touch with the right mortgage person, because they are so critical to that process as well. It's not just like a residential mortgage. You've got to know what factors are gonna actually influence you buying a rental property. So we'd love to have that conversation with you. Details are coming up below, as well as the following slide. But that's today's tip. It's when you look at the rental supply, and the demand and the amount of people moving here and the new homes that are being built as well as really low inventory on the resale homes 
it's kind of that perfect market. So if you have got any questions, then give us a shout.